Hey everyone, how are you? It's Dave, welcome to my channel and welcome to one of my favourite Game Boy games of all time Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge I remember getting this given to me as a kid, teenager and I would just come back from somewhere and it was on my bed with some other stuff and sure enough there was a copy of it on my bed and I thought wow a Castlevania game on the Game Boy so I, I had it so here we are playing this playing it as the part of the Castlevania collection on the Switch. Because my physical copy is actually with the rest of my Game Boy games. So, for a change, I'm not actually playing the actual version. Usually I would, if I was, then it would have been on my Game Boy player for the GameCube, but because I've got this collection, it's probably better to do it on the on the Nintendo Switch. So you have four castles to uh, choose from at the beginning, and then once you've done those. You go to Dracula's castle. So it's all right. This game. There isn't really anything to gripe about in this game. It's certainly a vast improvement to Castlevania Adventure on the Game Boy as well. The fact that on the first game you couldn't whip left or right whilst you were on ropes and things as in this game you can. Let's take out these creatures. It's just a heart, that's fine. Get up there. That block will disintegrate if you are not careful. These creatures are in Castlevania Adventure. And you've got sub weapons in this game as well. These eyeballs get around very often in this game. Ah, spikes. There's me holding down the jump button while I'm sliding down the ropes. Let's kill this guy. Ah, I wasn't meant to jump into it. That was a silly thing to do. I'll wait for it to retract again. These eyeballs get absolutely everywhere. You're getting bombarded by them. Right, now you have a choice. You can either go up or you can go down. Either way, it really doesn't matter too much. That thing is frustrating. It throws these swords at you. Get rid of the bats. Now going up here. Let's get rid of him. Got an axe here, so I can use that to take the bat out. 
Uh, I just, yeah, I'll just keep the axe, I think. Those bats will come after you if you don't take them out. They will attack you. Right there and then on those blocks. Let's go through here. Now, usually when the music changes in every level to this, it means that you're near the boss. It's kind of that. I suppose to give you a bit of a tense feeling. And here's the boss for the Crystal Castle. The only way you can hit him is when he's appearing like that. All he does is just summon lightning from that cloud. And you just have to avoid it. That's all you've got to do. It's done. And in this game, the orb goes up. Usually, in Castlevania games, the orb comes down. But, not in this one. Right. That's that castle. So now we have three left. Let's do this one. This one being uh, Cloud Castle. Ah, oh, this music's great. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Alright, got rid of him. Let's grab that while I can. Do, 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 do. There's quite a few precise jumps you've got to do in this game. Got the got the holy water. Get rid of the vets. Spikes can do a fair bit of damage to you in this game. Let's get rid of these knights. Should have known that axe was there, really. Right, this is a quick button bash almost to get across those ropes because they're quite. ow. They're quite fast pulling you up. Do... Whoa, there comes these. I could have done with that. Never mind. Got him before he could get me. Okay, let's grab the coin. That's handy. Do, 
Okay, whip it to submission. Do, 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 do. Simple enough. Just don't get hit by the spikes. That can be frustrating. Of course, now I'm back here. It's a rather daring thing to do, trying to grab that. I knew that bat was going to cause me some trouble. Well, got the holy water again. When you've got the ordinary whip, it's just takes a while for enemies to be disposed of. Do, 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 do. So far so good. Ooh. I didn't think I'd made that jump. Right. Good. And we've got the axe back. So now we're really just going after hearts. Probably staying in one place is about as good dealing with those gargoyle like enemies. Now you've got to carefully navigate your way up here. Get rid of this knight. Yes, and of course enemies do respawn in this game. That was instant death, was it? Right, well, at least I'm in here. I've got to deal with this gargoyle again. Quite easy to avoid. Make sure you time your jumps well. Let's kill you again. There we go. We got it that time. Might as well deal with it from a long range. Right, here we go. Near the boss.
Right, this boss is an unusual one. Both heads shoot projectiles. And they just keep on shooting these blades back and forth. And the boss is dead. So that's great. I wasn't really keeping an eye on the health, I was just hitting the heads. And I think that'll do for this episode. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you soon with all Castlevania 2. Belmont's Revenge. See you later, bye!